Hi, Sarah. I adored that episode. I watched it twice, the first time without notes, the second time with notes. I cried again. Here is footage of that. So this is me post <laughs> the doctor's voice and um, yep. But I think I'll make it, I'll, I'll take footage if I cry. But I didn't cry when Rory died this time, so that's good. We're improving. I don't know if you noticed because she said it really quietly while she was like vanishing into sparkliness after she'd made like the noise. She said, I love you. And it was really quiet. And I didn't know because I, um, like, I didn't, I didn't initially know this, but I was on my Tumblr and I was, like, going through everything that everyone was posting. And I, I saw someone who posted that and I was like, what? So I, like, put it back and I rewatched it and, like, cranked the volume. And it was like, I love you. And it was like, oh, oh. I knew that Neil Gaiman was going to be writing the episode before I actually saw it, and I was really excited because I read this book that he co-wrote with a guy called Terry Pratchett called Good Omens, and if you haven't read it, you really need to read it because it's absolutely hilarious. Just do it. And I was, I was so impressed. I hope he writes for the show again. I haven't read A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I am going to do that hopefully this summer. And I can see what you mean about the part where he was dead, he being Roy, or like dying and old and decrepit and gross. I can see what you mean, how that could have been more effective as a book, but I think he did it like an utterly fantastic job. You're right, it was an abundance of fantasticness. I absolutely loved Uncle's voice. I don't know who that actor is, but the voice that he had made me laugh. And I also loved how she called him thief, and then and then she went and she kissed him, and then fighting's excellent. It's like kissing, only there's a winner. And I love how she stole him as much as he stole her. I absolutely loved that. And I actually predicted, kind of, the whole shipping of the TARDIS and the Doctor when I was reviewing last week's episode. We could try stroking her and singing her a song. <laughs> Do you ship that? I wonder. Do I ship that? Hmm. Maybe. But I'm sure that fandom has exploded and now that it's kind of canon, I would say, it's going to be redonkulous. And also, I love that her name is Sexy. Love. So much love. Throughout the entire episode, there was a lot of <laughs> squeeing. And I totally agree. I think it's hilarious that Rory is the pretty one. <laughs> also, during the whole season preview, there was a flash of the Doctor being inside of Ten's TARDIS, and finally we know what that was from. Also, you're doing it, you sexy thing. See, you do call me that. Is it my name? You bet it's your name. I, I died. A lot. Also, she's a woman and she's the TARDIS. Did you wish really hard? Shut up, not like that. <laughs> also, as the TARDIS was flying from like the weird bubble, universe, plug hole, whatever analogy, it kind of flew past something that looked like it was a similar shape to the crack that we had been seeing throughout the previous season. Maybe. Also, there was a complete lack of sketchy eye patch lady, but there was definitely that in the preview. And then of course the line, fear me, I've killed hundreds of time lords. Fear me, I've killed them all. Oh, chills, chills. And I agree, the only water in the forest is the river. Oh, I'm so excited to see what that means. Oh, Moffat. And how the doctor gave Rory and Amy bunk beds. So overall, I just absolutely adored the episode. It is probably one of my favorites. I don't know how much it actually moved the plot forward, but still, I'm so, so glad that we got to have an episode like that. And contributing to the love of Arthur Darville, he plays music. Beautiful, beautiful music. And I laughed really loud at the Inception reference. Also, if you like, I will send you the intro. I liked yours, though. I thought that was great having Matt and David be there. And I'm excited for next week. Also, I'm glad that you didn't get flooded. It's not very good for that other place that did. But you're safe. Yay! Okay. Goodbye. Happy vlog.